let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. How much do you guys need to be hitting somebody else for a change? I'll say after uh, going against our teammates all spring, all training camp, um, we're ready just to go out there and go against Virginia and hit them instead of hitting our running backs and our quarterbacks. You guys get more up to play a 1A school, especially with what you've done against 1A schools in the past couple of years. I mean, is that more anticipation maybe? Um, it gives you a chance to play in front of big crowds of 60 to 70,000, but I would say in, in some people's minds, it's just another game. You want to go out there and you want to put your best foot forward and you want to come out with a win no matter who you're playing. So what are y'all most excited about for not only the season opener, but for the season in general? Um, we just want to show everybody that doubt us, that question our abilities as a team, that we have players on this team that they may, might not know about that will step forward and um, come up and be great players in this, uh, this conference someday. Tyler, you want to touch on that as well? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just going to be really exciting. Uh, obviously, we've been looking forward to this for a while. And, and being fifth years, uh, the two of us and a couple other guys on the team, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how everything goes. And uh, obviously, we'd like to uh, leave with a bang so and, and leave our own mark on uh, our program here. So uh, obviously, we're excited about that. Will you guys pay attention at all to the dynamics, like with Mike and Latrell and pregame stuff and all that kind of? Will you pay attention to that at all? I mean, everybody's got their own uh, their own way of preparing for a game. The, all the different coaches, and um, I mean, it, it's we're all so scheduled before a game that it's it's, it's not too uh, too different. I mean, uh, it's kind of more of an individual time to prepare for a game. But uh, obviously, Coach Scott brings a whole lot of energy to our team and to uh, the pregame, I'm sure he'll do the same thing as uh, previous coaches have. You two have seen both sides of the offense line and Martin going up against them and practice and Tyler running behind them. How confident are both of you that they'll hold up against the Virginia front? I'm very confident in the offense line. They've gotten a lot better from the spring. Like Coach Scott said, we have four new uh, players out there that ha wasn't there in the spring. And they're starting to mesh together, and their 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 calls are starting to come together. And right now, they're the best I've ever seen right now this far. And come UVA, I know that they're going to be fired up to play and ready to go out there and open up the holes for uh, Tyler Kirchhoff. Well, I think the the best part about them is uh, you know not not too many people know their names like uh, uh, our previous offensive line. You know, having the experience that they did, but. Um, I think they're all out to uh, prove something, you know. They, they want to be to become the names that people talk about, and uh, you know, they, I mean, they've improved a lot. A lot of the guys had to sit out in the spring because of injuries, and um, you know, they're excited to get back. And and you know, I've had a lot of fun running behind them in practice, and I can't wait to do it during the season. You guys, you guys have done really well in these games, you know, against Duke, and, and I've had a bunch of close calls against Virginia in your history. Do you? Go into these games expecting to win, even though people consider you an underdog, 22 plus scholarship, all that stuff. I would say, as a football player, if you ever go into a game expecting not to win, you shouldn't be playing the sport. Um, we're going into this game expecting to win and knowing that we should win because we've put the time in this summer, we practice so much, so many hours during training camp that if we go down there expecting not to win, is what what we did this summer was just worth is worth for nothing, and. I know Saturday, we're right, while we're in that locker room, right before we run out the, the tunnel, we're going to know as a team that we're going to win and we're going to go put our best foot forward, like I said before, and come out there with a W. Hey, yeah. Mark, when you make a tackle near the Virginia sideline Saturday and you get up off of that pile at Mike London's feet, <laughs> what will the interaction be like or what might it be like? Uh, uh, I might give him a smile, shake his hand, and run back to our sideline. <laughs> Kind of going off of that, so can you just both of y'all elaborate a little bit more on how you feel about playing against Coach London? You want to start with that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I think it's going to be great. You know, it's obviously going to be an emotional game for everybody. Uh, our staff and their staff, being that uh, we all have a lot of relationships between the two teams with uh, the different coaches. And, you know, it, Coach London was a great guy. We absolutely love playing for him, and obviously uh, he did great things for our program. 
and you know it's it's going to be good seeing him after the game. Uh, before the game, we're not too worried about it. So um, other than that, I, I think we're just going to try to worry about us and not about who's on the other sidelines and take care of our business. And just to piggyback on what he said, uh, like I said, they were our coaches last year, and we did win a national championship with those coaches, and we formed a bond with those coaches. But before the game, it's not going to be that, that family atmosphere that we're going to go up to them and shake their hands and tell old jokes. But as after the game, we're going to go up there and we're going to talk to them and see how each other's doing. But it's just one of those things you just want to prove that throughout the time that they're, they've been down there and, and we've been up here that we've changed and we've become a better team. And losing those 15 seniors last year hasn't deterred from our winning tradition here at the University of Richmond. Do you remember what it was like two years ago when he was going through that on the Richmond sideline coming from Virginia? And is there anything you draw on that? Even with Coach Scott having been on the Virginia sideline playing this game Saturday, do you remember your experiences and emotions from two years ago? I would say he, he was fired up to, to play against uh, players that he used to coach and uh, coaches that he used to uh, coach with. And I know Coach Scott's going to be fired up to go down there and show that he, he can be a, a head coach in, in, in this football uh, conference. And it's just going to be an exciting atmosphere.